What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic. So I'm pretty sure this is the biggest unboxing I've ever done on this channel. So I've been asked by a bunch of people to give my opinion on SVS products. So right here we have the SVS PB16 Ultra. This is a 175 pound 16 inch home theater subwoofer. And I should have known that it was different when it showed up at my doorstep on a pallet. So just how does a 175 pound home theater subwoofer sound? Well, today we're gonna find out. So today with me, I actually have three SVS products. We have their Insane PB16 Ultra subwoofer, their SB3000 subwoofer, and we have a set of wireless elevation speakers. Now this subwoofer is absolutely ridiculous. I almost died trying to get this thing downstairs into my basement and trying to unbox it was definitely a task by myself. And once you do get it out, this is probably one of the best, if not the best looking subwoofers I've ever seen. So this subwoofer is not big for no reason. This thing puts out 1500 watts continuous with a peak of 5000 watts. So you definitely want to make sure you have this at least on the 20 amp circuit. Otherwise, you're definitely going to have problems if you crank this thing up. So this subwoofer comes in two different finishes. It has a piano black finish or a black oak veneer. So what we have with us today is gonna be the piano black finish, which I really happen to like a lot. It looks really intimidating. So if you don't like looking at a really huge intimidating subwoofer, like I know some people's wives don't wanna see something like this sitting in the living room, it does have a front grill cover that you can put on that makes it look a little less intimidating. And they actually do give you some plugs so you can actually turn it into sort of a sealed subwoofer if you want to. Another thing you'll notice that most subwoofers don't have is going to be the LCD panel at the top. So this is going to show you some of your settings, mainly the decibel level so you can actually adjust the level. And on the back of it, you have a set of RCA inputs and outputs. And for those of you who have a higher end home theater system, it does have balance XLR input and outputs as well. And the really nice thing about this subwoofer, aside from it having the controls right on the front of it, is the fact that it actually comes with an app. So you can download the SVS app and you can actually control pretty much every setting on this subwoofer right inside of the app. So once you connect your subwoofer, as you can see, it's connected here. The process was really, really easy to connect the sub. Once you get it connected, the first thing you're going to see is the decibel level. So you can easily drag this to whatever level you want. You can easily turn the subwoofer down. The other cool thing is you can just set it to a preset. You can go right to the preset screen, set it to whatever preset you want, put it on custom, and then make your changes. These are all things that you would normally see on the back of a subwoofer that would force you to get up, try to tilt it, or try to move it to get behind it to make some of these changes. They're all right here in the app. This is definitely really nice. All right, so enough about how this thing looks and talking about the app and stuff like that. What does this thing sound like? So if you ever really wanna put your subwoofer through the motions, one of the best scenes that you can put on is the very, very beginning of Edge of Tomorrow, the movie. So if you play that the very, very beginning before the movie even starts, this thing plays some super, super low subwoofer frequencies. And I thought that my clip speakers handled this thing pretty well, but this PB16 Ultra just was ridiculous. So in my current home theater, I actually have a pair of two Klipsch R115 SW subwoofers. Now I really like these subwoofers and I got a really good deal on them. Now I'm not trying to say they're the best subwoofers of all time, but I definitely like them a lot. This PB16 Ultra, compared to even both of my Klipsch subwoofers, they're not even in the same league as this thing. This thing is on a completely different level. I actually ended up having to turn this thing down because it was shaking the screen on the wall so hard that I could actually see the picture vibrating. So this thing is beyond ridiculous. Now that's what I like. And to put it into perspective, here it is sitting next to one of those clip subs. This thing dwarfs my clip subwoofer. I mean, not only is it much bigger, but it's almost three times heavier. So overall, I don't really have anything negative to say about this subwoofer. The only thing that I could kind of say is negative is that it does have a retail price of $2,500. Now I know that's going to be way out of the range for most people, especially most of the people that watch my channel. I try to do 
bang for your buck and try to do some budget stuff here and there. But for the most part, for what you're getting, that's about what I would expect to see this subwoofer sell for. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering, is there a cheaper alternative that's still a really good quality sub? So here's when we bring in the SB3000. So the SB3000, unlike the PB16 Ultra, is SB, which means it's sealed instead of ported, and it's a 13-inch subwoofer. So this thing is much smaller and lighter than the PB16 Ultra and will fit better in the average size room. So the SB3000 has a 13 inch driver and delivers 800 watts continuous and up to 2500 watts peak. Now on the back of the SB3000, you do get some nice tactile buttons on the back. There's gonna be volume, your phase and your filter. And you're also gonna have your left and right input and output. It has some nice lights on the back to tell you what your level is, which is a nice touch because most people are in a dark home theater. Now, even though this subwoofer is a lot smaller than the PB16 Ultra and the Clip subwoofers, this thing hits pretty hard. It definitely hits really low and really hard, even considering that it's a 13 inch subwoofer versus a 16 or 15, and considering just how small the enclosure is and the fact that it's sealed. Even though that scene usually hits a little harder with a ported sub, this thing still sounds really good and it's really nice and accurate, which is definitely better for things like music compared to a ported subwoofer. So if you're in a regular size room or a smaller room, this would definitely be a great alternative to the PB16 Ultra. And if you're on a tighter budget, this will probably probably be a better option considering that it's $1,400 instead of $2,500. Now that being said, I do think that both of these subwoofers are absolutely fantastic. I want to thank SVS for sending these out to me. Now we'll be doing a separate video for the wireless SVS elevation speaker, so definitely stay tuned for that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. As always, if you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything, and I'll see you guys in the next video.